everyone, welcome to Ecoholics. In our previous videos, we have discussed calculation of median in case of discrete series and individual observations. In this video, we'll be discussing calculation of median in case of continuous series. So, we have already seen in our previous video what median is. So, median is basically the middlemost value from that given set of observations. Let's say if we have a given set of observations as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this is our given set of observations. So just by observing at the series, we can see that 3 is our middlemost value and therefore 3 becomes a median. Now, let's now understand Let's now understand what is continuous series. In our previous videos, we have discussed what continuous series is. So, continuous series are those series which have class interval. Let's say if wage rate of workers are between 10 to 15. So, wage rate is between 10 to 15. So, this becomes a class interval. So, this is meaning of class interval. And now, 10 is a lower limit of the class interval and 15 is a upper limit of class interval. So, uh, this is a class interval, lower limit and upper limit. So, this becomes a continuous series. Now, let's look at how do we calculate median in case of continuous series. So, the formula for that is when median. So, when we have continuous series, How do we calculate a median? So, the formula is median is equal to L plus N by 2 minus CF that is cumulative frequency divided by frequency into I. Where what is L? L is a lower limit. So, L is a lower limit of the median class. Now, what is CF? CF is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. So, we'll have a median class and then the cumulative frequency preceding that median class, we are going to take cumulative frequency of that. What is F? F is the frequency of the median class. What is I? I is the class interval of the median class. Now, using this formula, we are going to calculate median in case of continuous series. So, let's look at an example. So, the question is, find out the median value of the following distribution. So, wage rates are given. So, this becomes a continuous series. And here we have the number of workers. Number of workers basically represents a frequency. So, number of workers represent frequency. Now, the first step is to calculate cumulative frequencies. In our previous videos, we have discussed how to calculate cumulative frequency as well. So, now we will first calculate the cumulative frequency. Now, in our first case, we have wage rate as 0 to 10 and number of workers are 22. So, this is our frequency. Now, how do we calculate cumulative frequency? So, in this case, there are 22 workers who have wages between 0 to 10. And therefore, in this case, a cumulative frequency is equal to 22. Now, in our second case, we are going to calculate cumulative frequency. So, how are we going to calculate cumulative frequency in second case? 
So, how many workers have wage rate between 0 to 20? So, there are 22 plus 38 that is equal to 60. So, basically we have 60 workers who have wage rate between 0 to 20. Now, in a third case, we need to find out how many workers have wage rate between 0 to 30. So, here we have 60 plus 46. That is 106. So, we have 106 workers who have wage rate between 0 to 30. Now, we need to calculate how many workers have wages between 0 to 40. So, now we have 106 plus 35. This becomes equal to 141. And in our last case, we have 20 plus 141. So, 141 plus 20. This gives us 161. So, alternatively, we can also calculate in this way. Now, if we want to find out wage rate between 0 to 30, let's say. So, alternatively, what we can do is, we can just add these terms. That is 22 plus 38 plus 46. And in this case, we can calculate like this 22 plus 38 plus 46 plus 35. Next, in this case, we can also write this as uh, we can also get 161 as 22 plus 38 plus 46, plus 35, plus 20. So, whether you do in this way or in this way, you are going to get the same answer. Now, how do we calculate median? So, firstly, what do we find is M is equal to size of N by 2th item. Now, what is n by 2th term? So, we are going to, so basically, n is equal to summation f. Now, what is summation f? So, we are going to sum these terms. So, we have 22 plus 38 plus 46. plus 35 plus 20. So, in this case, our n becomes equal to what? So, it is this term. Same. 22 plus 38 plus 46 plus 35 plus 20. So, what do we get is? This is 161. So, our n is equal to 161. Now, what do we need to find is? What is n by 2? So, we have seen that our n is 161. So, we have 161 
divided by 2. This is equal to 80.5. So basically M is equal to size of 80 point fifth item. So we have seen that M is equal to size of 80 point fifth item. Now a second step would be to find median class. So what is our median class? So median class, it corresponds to the cumulative frequency that includes n by 2th item. So now we'll also understand how to find median class with our example. So, so median class is that class which corresponds to cumulative frequency which includes n by 2th term. Now in this case, our n by 2th item is 80.5. Now over here, 80.5. So the number just greater than 80.5 is 106. So this class that is 20 to 30, this class is known as median class because in this class, it includes a n by 2th term, which is 80.5. Now, what do we need to find is? So the formula for median is L plus N by 2 minus CF upon F into I. So L, we need to find the lower limit of the median class now. So this was a median class. Lower limit of this median class is 20. So our L is equal to 20. Now, now next term we need to find the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. So this was our median class. So the cumulative frequency preceding the median class is 60. So we take a cumulative frequency as 60. Now, we need to find the frequency of the median class. So, frequency of a median class is 46. And the last term is I. I is the class interval of the median class. So 20 to 30, the size of the class interval is 10. So now we are going to find our median. So now, Let's calculate median in case of continuous series. So we have the formula as median is equal to L plus N by 2 minus cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class divided by F into i. Now, therefore, a median is equal to what? So now, in this case, our L is 20. Plus, n by 2 is 80.5. Minus. So CF is 60. Divided by 
f that is frequency is 46 multiplied by i that is 10. Now what do we get as? Median is equal to, so we have 20 plus 80.5 minus 60 is 20.5 divided by 46 into 10. So now further simplifying this, what we get is 20. median is equal to 20 plus this term that is 20.5 into 10 divided by 46 this term comes out to be 4.46 and therefore a median in this case becomes equal to 24.46. So this becomes a median and we have seen that a median class was 20 to 30 and we got a median as 24.46. So this term is included in this class. So we got a median as 24.46 and this completes our answer. So we have seen how easily we can use this formula and calculate median in case of continuous series. In our next videos, we'll be discussing other measures of central tendencies as well. So do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.